TQ technology allows us to do a lot of the things that uh, other manufacturers might do passively inside their, their loudspeaker crossovers, inside the crossovers. Uh, I've got a cutaway of a CX-8. CX-896, the smallest of the uh, CX family, uh, which is our most compact CX, our most compact family of speakers. You can see the crossover is super simple. It's, uh, you know, some caps and coils. It's doing really simple work of sending highs to highs, lows to lows, but there's no uh, turning down of the horn or no um, flattening of the system done in the passive, in the passive crossover. Uh, we do all that in the DSP uh, because, frankly, it's more efficient to do there. Uh, it also makes a more reliable product. There's the parts that generally fail in a passive loudspeaker are the resistive parts. Uh, because as the loudspeakers use, they heat up and cool down and heat up and cool down, and uh, you know eventually that's going to break. Uh, but also as they heat up, their values change. So if you've uh, you know if you've had the experience of doing a loud gig with a passive monitor, and uh, you know system sounds great before the gig, and as the gig goes on, the you know things the EQ changes. Well, it's because the parts are heating up and things are changing. So that's one of the benefits of TQ combined with a simple crossover network, it makes a more reliable product and also a more spatially consistent product. So with the, with the DSP, we can also um, uh, flatten phase. We can keep uh, all the horn patterns. So this is a, looks like a 75 by 75, uh, one, of the, one of the four available in the direct radiating models. Um, you know, we can deal with things like, uh, you know, we have the woofer help support the low frequency um, pattern control of the horn, or we can have the the horn because it's a large diaphragm motor help support uh, the high frequency of the woofer where the woofer wants to beam. We can spread that energy out some. Um, so DSP allows us to do these things that you couldn't do it with just passive components.